Hey everyone, Josh here. Today I'm working on my sister's 13 uh, TDI Passat, the NMS, new midsize sedan Passat. Uh, so we got a heater core we're doing, not in this video, but that's uh, a future video. But the main issue of this one, try and walk between the ladder here. Charge air cooler efficiency below threshold, PO26A. So she's had that one for quite a while. Uh, I just haven't had time to look at it. So, on these sensors right up nice and close to the intake, because you've got your uh, water and air intercooler just kind of down in here. So we're gonna pull this off. I'd seen some pictures online of that getting full of green slime and condensation. So we're gonna pop that off and see what it looks like. Um, might have to clean this cooler out. Not too sure yet. But anyways, we'll get this apart and see what it looks like. So as you can see, get the camera to focus. Come on. A lot of green gunk in there. So I'm gonna clean that out. So I think brake cleaner might be a little aggressive for the sensor. Uh, there's MAF, like mass airflow sensor cleaner you can use or electronic cleaner. I think I'm gonna try the electronic cleaner. Um, clean that up and then uh, Put it back in and see if the code comes back. <clears throat> so, I'm not sure where all this green gunk is coming from. Uh, it's not losing coolant and the coolant's pink. So, yeah, I don't know if it's a little bit of oil and condensation mixing together in there. It is. December so it is a bit cooler out here now so with that um, map sensor clean I'm gonna put it back in I'm gonna drive it tomorrow um, I'm not sure which way I'm gonna release these videos I'm doing this one first and then I'll be doing a heater core video afterwards but I don't know however I release them um, but that intercooler might have to be either taken off and cleaned out or maybe a can of brake cleaner sprayed into it and then drain it out the bottom I'm not real sure yet but I'm gonna put this uh, sensor in as I need to get to work tomorrow because I gave my sister my Torig and then uh, I guess we'll see if the code comes back and then uh, make a call tomorrow night when I'm doing the heater core okay so I got the sensor out so this is the third time removing it let's get this camera to focus here so that's come on There we go. So that's the third time removing it and there's still condensation and crud on it. So I have a feeling that code's gonna come back pretty shortly. So that's, I guess, the main reason why I'm gonna try and flush it out here and see what we get out. So the plan here today is I'm gonna use my fluid transfer pump. So that's basically the check valve. That's the pump itself. So the whole and here is really small. And of course, none of my small funnels fit. So the transfer fluid pump's gonna, sorry, the fluid transfer pump's gonna work for this one. Uh, it's cleaned it out really good. So if you're using a funnel, make sure you clean it really well as well. And I guess let's slowly dump some diesel in there.
Okay, so here's what's, what came out of it. There's quite a few s solid chunks in the bottom. This container was clean. So I put the jack on the other side, so on the passenger side. So that kind of makes that a bit more of an angle down. So basically I just put a couple rags in there, kind of cleaned it out. Obviously make sure you get the rags out when you're done. And then you can kind of stick your fingers in there and make sure it's dry in the bottom. So you can still see a little bit of a greenish tinge. So I might put another 500 mils through it without the glove on the bottom, just let it run out the bottom. I'm gonna dump this out and we're gonna see what's sitting in the bottom here. the condensation in the bottom there. So I'll probably rinse that out once more. I'm not necessarily going to get that on video. Just do the same thing again. Clean that sensor up again with some more contact cleaner and uh, it back to my sister and we'll see if the code goes away okay so that second rinse stuff coming out starting to kind of look a little bit more like diesel so i'm probably gonna just wipe out the bottom of here and then use a bit of compressed air to make sure the fins are all blown clean and then uh, i think we're gonna call it a day so here's the second flush just running it straight through so again that still doesn't really resemble diesel but i think near the end there it was a straight diesel coming out Blew it out with a little bit of air and I think we're good. So we're gonna reassemble it and clear the codes and see what happens now, I guess. So after cleaning it, the code came back. So now we're checking it out with VCDS. So we're doing air, charge air temperature. So this car has been sitting inside for a couple hours now. It's 10 degrees. And you see that temperature reading is all over the place. And I would think with it sitting for so long, that should be pretty close to ambient outside air temperature. So I'm thinking the sensor itself is bad. So we're going to remove it again. We're going to replace it and then see what this temperature reading. So here's the old one out. It's probably got a couple thousand K on it. It's already starting to kind of accumulate some gunk on it, but not near as bad as before. I'm going to pop this new one in and see what it reads. So with the new sensor plugged in, we're down to 24, which I've got the heat set at 20, so I guess it can't be too far off. So we're going to get the battery charged up because I've killed the battery, and then uh, we're going to go for a drive and see if that code comes back. There, so did a little test drive. Charge air temp's coming up at 38 degrees now, so it's better than that 62, 64 it was hanging around at. Um, so I'm going to... Just take a guess and assume if your sensor stuck around that 62 to 70 even when cold or warm just all the time it's probably a bad sensor so yeah seems to be working good i do have some injector or some cylinder torque difference codes coming up so i think coming here in the future i'll be doing a video on replacing injectors in this thing yet so i guess uh, if you're enjoying the facade videos stay tuned for that one and thanks for watching